are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be here for the whole weekend. Oh, okay. 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 Are you covering the fight or just watching the fight? I'm, I'm working in the showtime. Oh, great. So what's going on with all this drama on Twitter? Hey, promotional stuff, man. I guess, you know, I, I mean, it's, I didn't mean for it to get out of hand. It kind of got out of hand, you know. I guess I to you, is it a big joke or do you think Broder's taking it, it, it this seriously? A, it was a big joke to a degree and then, like, it's got a little out of hand, you know. Yeah. But, but, um, you know, either way, we got to fight next month, so I might as well, you know. Do you think that Jessica is a bit of a pawn for Broner right now, just kind of playing Jessica with it? Jessica is not an ex-girlfriend, that's the yeah. thing. Man. Jessica is like a little bit of a fame-searching kind of girl, you know. And I knew that about her when I knew her. I mean, she was kind of in my circle of, you know, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I, when I don't have a girlfriend, I kind of have a circle of friends, girls, whatever, you know. So she was in my circle, you know, so I know the kind of person Jessica is. She's just looking to get her, get her five minutes of fame. It was what it was. But, you know, Jessica was my girlfriend. You could be able to ask her something like, what's my mother's name or something, something you couldn't find on the internet. She wouldn't be able to tell you. She never met my family, you know. Not like that. So, it was more like um, a pawn, really, by Adrian, because she probably called Adrian a bit of a twisted truth or some lies, you know. Like, what is this about her calling you abusive or saying that you were yeah, yeah, abusive? Yeah, she's, she's trying to turn around the whole sex life and she's trying to make it like yeah. abusive. But, and I, she knows she's into that kind of but stuff. But sex life and, and abuse is two separate exactly, things. Exactly, exactly. And you know, I, I think when you really hold, get down to the bottom of it, you can see when she publicly makes the statements, she she holds the bricks, you know. she You can see there's something, whatever she told Adrian, Adrian repeats it. But then when, you know, what I, whatever I've seen that she's said has, um, she's holding the breaks, you know, she's come up, she's, she's not just short of saying I physically abuse her, because it's not true, and then if you come out and say publicly slander my name, then you go in court, you know what I'm right, saying, so, right. so I think she knows her boundaries, what she can and can't say, and what she knows is not true and true, you And know, if you but, see um, the text messages, you don't really see, aside from little... Well, she snaps, she snapshots everything, you know, I, I knew that, because, uh, you know, I, I've spoken to uh, her ex-boyfriend's uh, girlfriend, and she actually says she still sends her conversations that she had with her ex-boyfriend from three years ago, so she, her, this girl basically snapshots it was a bit of a you meet people in life you know like I said she wasn't a girlfriend but she was definitely in my circle I find out they're a bit of lunatics at times and you know this, you, one's, this one's a lunatic uh, you know would you warn Broner about this one like be careful Listen, what you send her I don't think he's going to take her seriously but I do think she, you know she will make like he's taking her seriously you know it was kind of the same thing with me you know I wasn't taking her seriously but she tried to play off the whole world like she was being taken seriously you know so um, you know I, as long as you know Adrian gets his business it's not my business you know my business is to get ready for the fight and then we got to fight in June 20 second you know my only um my only discontent about this was uh this was somebody i had finally rid myself of and it took some work to get rid of her out of my circle you know and um it, he kind of brought her back into the mix you know and that was that was she really, makes it to seem like you're yeah. hard to get rid of or that yeah. you harass her well, well, so it's I, I harassed her after the press conferences and stuff just because i was like are you kidding me you know what i'm saying like but um you know there's uh, more to it. Yeah, of course there is always two, there's always three truths there's as you say. Truths. Yeah. All right.